I'm Kelly. This is my husband, Tom. Uh, we live in Hickory Hills, Illinois, and our son is Harrison Sandowski. The first few months of being parents was challenging and exhausting like most parents encounter. But exciting because it was that whole new life. Uh, Come here. Yeah. A family, the three of us, you know, all this whole future ahead of us <laughs> of what we we're going to do. And When he was three months old, that's when everything changed. Um, Kelly took a video. She showed me the video and I thought it was definitely something was going on that wasn't good. Uh, he was just making this face. I'm like, that's just not right. It was a weird movement, like a stiffening. So Tom came home, we went to the pediatrician, we walked in the office, showed her the video. She literally walked out, came back in two minutes later and said, go home, pack your bag, they're waiting for you at the hospital. It's called infantile spasms or West syndrome. It's an early form of epilepsy that can be treated. Uh, some treatments work, some don't. Some kids get the next syndrome and that is where we're at now. He has been diagnosed since he was three with Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. Um, which has kind of always been our fear. He's been on 14 medications. There's so many side effects of the different drugs they've tried with him that we would have six months of rage. We had... Um, Possible peripheral blindness. Yeah, we've had side effects from watch his eyes for cirrhosis. So it's almost that more than the seizures. It was all those drugs. I, we, we didn't know our own kid. I mean, we really didn't. We, from three months on, we had no idea who he really was. We were told he may never walk and to expect that, and that was a crushing day, but... So he would just take little steps along the ottoman, yeah. you know, kind of holding himself, and then he would maybe take two steps to the couch on yeah. his own. We're like, oh, two steps, that was yeah. awesome. Yeah. He's like Jaws around here. He just snatches things and eats them, and uh, he Godzilla's everything. It's great seeing his personality because he is mischievous, and he's devious, but he's also sweet, and he loves... Now he'll grab your hand, he'll, he'll walk up to you when you walk in the room, he'll smile before he wouldn't smile. He would just, there's somebody here now, it's like, you know, Dada's home. And it's like, ah, oh, Dada's home, you know? Yeah. It's like he'll run to me and grab me and hug me or, you know, wants to be picked up and yeah. hugged. Right now we're celebrating 108 days seizure free. That's the longest he's gone without seizure since he was three months. So it's been fantastic. Not knowing means um, adjusting. So we're 100 days seizure free, but the days he has seizures, we, even, even seizure freedom, that can come tomorrow he can have a seizure. Also with LGS, he can lose skills at any time. He might be fine, but he can also wake up tomorrow and not walk. It's, it's losing skills we need to worry about. So we really, um, that makes us nervous. We keep our eye out for any kind of, if he stops walking as much, if he's not getting up from the floor as well as he was, if his sitting isn't as good. We can't fly with him really. It, it's just too dangerous in our you know, feeling and world. So we're saving for uh, a handicap accessible van. We don't know what the future holds. We don't know how long this is gonna last. Now we're determined to just get him going and doing as much as possible. And with him getting bigger, it's gotten a lot more challenging. So my wife called me at work and she said, I got a phone call today. I'm like, from who? And she's like, ATI Foundation. I'm like, I remember you doing the letter to them. What, what's going on? And she's like, it's amazing. They, they're gonna, you know, they wanna do an event and they wanna star Harrison and do a video on him. And it's, it's really exciting. So. She was, she was over the moon when she got that phone call. Because it is hard to kind of ask for help, but it's very I figure hard. it's for him, you know, because we like to pay our own way and do all that kind of stuff. But with him, it's like, whatever is best for him, whatever we can get is, is amazing. You realize how many great people there are in the world having a special needs kid, especially all these organizations. It's, it's been amazing, it's been eye-opening. Yeah.